Hey, welcome back, Rogue Techers. Uh, we are sitting at Maximilian right now in the Circinius Federation. I still can't pronounce this damn word, but we're sitting in the Circinius Federation at Maximilian, and right now we're still down one mech. So we're going to go to the, the uh, mech base real quick here. Um, we're still down our Panther. Uh, 26 days to get that repaired and back online. Um, our other Panther here, 9L, is still down one double heatsink. In the last episode, we just did a really quick mission, and we said we were going to hit up the, uh, if we go to contracts here real quick, we're going to try a interdiction here and attack and uh, ambush a convoy here. So um, we're tracking a pirate supply, sorry, we're tracking pirate supply convoys that may be delivering weapons and explosives to self-appointed warlord here on Maximilian. In return, his fighters have been wreck wreaking havoc on Circanusian facilities in the region. We need you to interdict we need you to interdict the convoy and destroy it. These are going to be lightly armored targets, commander. The real challenge will be keeping them from making a run for it. Well, I think we're probably pretty good. So, um, we're going to try this. It's a half skull. We're ranked at about one skull right now. So, we're going to go down with 3 max and take this on. Um, first thing we're going to do though is have a look at our barracks just to see if we've got any more uh, experience enough to raise anybody up here. So uh, Blank Spare is still sitting at nothing. Flatliner. Um, he's got his piloting. I think what we're going to do though, well, unsteady threshold. He hasn't had an issue yet. So we're going to wait. We're going to go for gunnery for him. Um, so Ground Zero's got enough here. We're going to take uh, Tactician here get the uh, plus two morale gain and minus 50% critical hits taken. That's kind of uh, a, a good one to have there. And then remove one bar of stability damage when reserving. That really helps as well. So we're going to do that. Plus minus 45 mi uh, uh, meter minimum range will help with our PPC as well. So we're going to take that and confirm. confirm. And then height. Do we have anything for height? Um, tactics? I don't think so. I think we're going to leave him for now. We're going to go with... Um, yeah, I think we're going to go gunner. Maybe piloting. I'm not sure. Piloting our gunnery on him. We're going to wait and see. Yeah. Payroll is still uh, slowly climbing here. And Vane Skater, we're still waiting for uh, another gunnery increase. So we're going to leave that alone as we uh, um, still need a lot more experience. So let's go back to our contracts here. We're going to head out right away and get right into the interdiction mission. We're going to negotiate this. Since we've still got eight days to the end of the month, we still got half decent amount of funds. We're still covered. Um, so we're going to go, once again, we're going to go 3 of 14 and hope we get some good salvage on this uh, mission. Something that we can sell off here. So we're just going to accept this. And we're going to head in. 3 max. let's do it. Oh yeah, confirming that the Panther is uh, weakened. We are ready for combat. Alright, here we go. 3 max on the ground. Let's do this. All right, so there is our target. And there's our extraction point. So basically we have to blast through them if we want to bail out of here. But we're going to kill everybody, so I'm not worried about that. So where are they going? They're going up here. All right, so we've got a long, they've got a long way to go to get past us. Now we're supposed to move to here to be able to spot them, but I don't think we're going to be able to get there before we engage at this point. So in this case, I'm not going to worry about reserving. There's no real point to. Uh, we're not going to be able to see each other on the first turn anyway. I might pick up some chevrons uh, with my sensors, but that'll be it. Now height can sprint a really good distance. So what I want to do with him is I'm going to take him up along this way. Uh, because his weapons are so short ranged, um, he's not going to do any good being up on this ridge firing down to the enemy. So I want to get him up in front. So if we get any fast moving vehicles, um, like hover vehicles or whatever, like J. Edgars or something, trying to get past them and get up into here, um, he'll be on the roadway to be able to stop them. So they're not moving too fast. I'm really hoping for um, several mechs as escort, but at half a skull, maybe we're going to get one. On the move, full speed. All right, let's have a look down here, see what happens. So they don't have anything medium, which is good for us. So now we're going to reserve to see if anybody comes up in our visual range here. I want to let all their light guys go first, so we're going to get first crack at them. And then we can determine priority targets. 
Yeah, here we go. Hey there. Sensors have something. So once again, the advantage of letting them go first is we can see... Oh, how do they actually... How are they able to spot us? Maybe they've got... Um, increased sight range on, on one of these vehicles or something. Well, there's a mech. So the advantage of letting them go first, once again, um, is now that we, we can see roughly who's where. They've got a fast vehicle, so I'm going to reserve right back to turn one. I don't know if any of their escorts are reserved. So we're going to do that. Now let's move. Yes, Commander. Um, we're going to move Flatliner in. I want to see what that mech is. Um, because if he's a real danger, we want to take him out sooner rather than later. So it's a Spider 5K. Not a big deal. No armor. Uh, Pegasus SRM. So this guy's more of a danger than the, uh, the spider, but because we've got the big PPC on ground zero, we're not really worried about him. So we're going to shoot straight on the spider and see if we can at least weaken him or take him right out of the battle first. So his structure's exposed. So ground zero, we're just going to walk him over. Um, Mm, I can shoot the vehicle from the side here, so I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk down here and I'm taking a side shot at this vehicle. I'm going to try and take him out. 99% chance to hit. That's insane. That's what a, a plus three targeting system and a plus three uh, arm mounted weapon will do. Makes a huge difference earlier in the game if you can get some of that stuff for sure. Alright, now height, we're just going to move him here and get him prepped. He's just going to brace in here. I don't know if we're going to need him right away. Um, he definitely has sprint ability, so if we need to get a quick kill, we can do that. So we're going to reserve again, see what they do. We're okay with our evasion here. we got three chevrons on this guy here. He's fine. So that was a large laser. Striker or something, probably. LRM-10 couple hits. So because they're firing so many missiles, their missile vehicles probably aren't going to move forward. So there's one way to deal with this, and I'll show you that in a second. Depending on what this spider decides to do. Okay, so we're going to try and... Hmm. Is it worth it? My thought was that one way to deal with a lot of these missile units is they don't move very far before firing missiles because they got the scouts up front. So if you can't destroy the scouts right away, the other way to do is pull back out of visual range, which will force these guys to move forward. I mean, they won't... They're not forced to move forward, but they will. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to move ground zero back over here. And we're going to shoot this guy in his side and hopefully remove him from the battle, which I think we will. Goodbye. Then what we're going to do... Because I want those guys to come forward. Actually, you know what's going to happen if I do do this? Um, is he'll just run up the hill and... and uh, and spot us. So we need to remove him from the fight. So let's do this way. Uh, we might be able to leg him. How much armor does he have? He's almost got nothing in his center torso. We're just going to fire everything. He shot this turn too, so he's taking full damage. Left torso gone. I think I hit something good. Now's the time to bring height into the battle. Skipper. So you're coming down here. Like this. Quick and we'll force them to move forward now. So we're going to hit this guy on the same side that he's been damaged in with everything. Maybe we can take him out here? Yep. He decided to get the hell out. Good thinking, buddy. With all five of those hitting, he would have shut down. So we got a Galleon. Not worried about. So we're going to take him out. You need me to hold seal with ground zero. You? Who's not going to move? Oh, can we see, actually see him from here? It's interesting. 
Let's move over here. Gotta be just a little higher to see over the trees, I guess. So we'll take him out so he can't spot for everybody else. Target destroyed. Now we'll wait for the next vehicle to come forward. So now we don't have to worry about the LRM so much. I mean, it's not a big deal because they're not really doing that much damage. But it's, in, it's good practice to do this because later in the game, um, when they have the capability of doing a lot of damage to you, like if they're like two LRM-20s or something, you know, they can start putting the hurt on you, right? So you want to make sure you take care of that problem before it nips you, in, uh, like nip that butt in the problem, <laughs> nip that, <laughs> nip the problem in the butt before it nips you in the butt. So uh, we're going to reserve height here. He's like super fast, so they're not going to really do anything to him. So once again, you can see it's forcing them to all move forward now, right? So this is the combo that's left. I guess we've taken out all the uh, protectors since it's not giving us a number of uh, convoy vehicles here. The escorts all had lower armor. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is take... So he can be seen. So we're actually going to move um, a little bit here. Get some chevrons of evasion, and we're going to shoot this guy in the side. Firing everything. Now, I don't think we'll kill him. But we'll get him to a certain point where Hyde can just step in and finish the job off. We're going to move forward. He's got lots of chevrons of evasion. Plus, he'll be able to go next turn relatively early, so we're not worried about him getting killed. And we're going to unload everything on his side here. So all we need is one good hit, I think. So we're going to turn off a couple of flamers. We're going to turn off these two guys here. And we'll hit them. One, two, three. There we go. Boom. Reporting. One less vehicle. So, hmm. It's not giving me a percentage of convoy destroyed. So I don't know which one of these guys are guards and which ones are convoy. I'm assuming these guys are all convoy because it looks like they all have full armor. So that guy's got pretty good armor. This guy's got good armor. This guy doesn't. So we're going to go with ground zero first. And we're going to open up on the striker. Actually, you know what? 450. How much? Can we kill this guy with one shot? We could if we get him right in the side of the back. Now what about this guy back here? So this guy's got nothing, but he's got an LRM-10 and an LRM-5, so let's remove him from the battle completely. Locked on. Game over. Boarding. Okay, Heavy so now we don't have to worry about those LRMs. Two vehicles left. See, so I mean, four chevrons of evasion. It's really hard for them to hit him. Okay, so Height's coming around the back here. I've got eyes on the target. Oh, I'm glad you finally have eyes on the target, Darius. We've been engaging them all day, all morning, for Christ's sake. All right, we're shooting this guy in the back with everything. Might get lucky and kill him. You never know. Two, three, four, five. Boom! Wow, that was good. One more for the trash heap. I'm ready. And then this guy's shooting in the shooting him in the back again. This could just finish it off here if we get enough hits on the back. How much do we need here? 76. Eh, unlikely, but we'll see. see how you like this. Medium lasers didn't hit, so probably not. Nope. He's going to run for it. We're going to give Height the first shot at him. I think he's uh, probably in a perfect position to finish him up. We're just going to walk it up. We don't have to worry too much about stuff here. A little better chance to hit. We'll fire with everything again. And this should do it. There it is. It's time to nice. Get to the LZ for extraction. All done. So that was fast. But I mentioned in one of my other videos that um, taking on convoys can be difficult at lower levels if you're trying higher skulled convoys. Because there's eight units and they're all moving together um, and you have half as you have half as many units um, 
you can run into difficulties really, really quickly. So you got to be, be wary of that. So I might take, you are large, 35 heat though, it's only 5 tons. Maybe the vehicle flamer, I'm not sure yet. I'm just going to throw that in there. Tag. Oh. Targeting computer cockpit. Um, I love the breaching shot and the plus one accuracy. I'm just going to throw that in there along with the engine. And I think that's what we'll take. We'll take those three there. Um, the only other thing I might be interested in would be the ER large, but at this point I don't have no use for it. So let's just take those and hopefully we get a few spider pieces here. Yeah, we got four of them. Nice. LRM, LRM 20, machine gun tag. Ah, we made out pretty good on that mission. And that was pretty quick. Alright, repairs. Nice. Almost nothing. So that was a great mission. Um, only a couple of mechs were damaged. And we might be able to pull off another one before the end of the month. Really? Command center contracts. I don't think we can really do much more. We can do the lost there. We can try it. Um, yeah, let's give it a shot. Why not? Let's fix our guys up real quick here. There we go. Two days to financial report. First thing I want to do uh, before I forget it, I'm going to quickly go to the store here. And I want to sell that engine we just picked up. Not that we need to, but because we got, you know, 110,000 more than what we need this month. But in the cell category, oh, we, we've got tons of vehicle flamers now, so we don't have to get any more of those. Let's go down. Where is it here? Got a few engines. 240 it was that we got. So let's sell this one just so we have enough money. So we got 552,000 now. All right, so let's go to our command center and get straight in on this mission. Lost Air, the sign of a local government government mercantile concern, has been missing for months. We've been su we spent we suspect a kidnapping by Merrick, but there's been no ransom demand. A local group of sympathizers on Maximilian recently picked up a garbled message from a su from the sign indicating that she's been held at a Merrick facility here. Our intel failed to trace her to Maximilian, so any local, any loyal mechs are several jumps away. We need you to help extract her. So we're going to do that. Extracting somebody, yeah, chances are it's going to be a Lance of mechs, maybe two, we'll see. Maybe towers, I don't know. we got lots of money, so we're going to go for full salvage, except this, and straight into battle. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Three mechs on the ground. Let's do this. All right. So she's being held in that base up there. And there's where I extract to. Cool. So if I was playing this as a quick hit and run, like let's say this was a higher skull mission, the first thing I would do is I would move, be moving height and flatliner along the edge here. Uh, or sorry, flatliner and ground zero along the edge. And I would take height and I would sprint him around. And he would come in grab the uh, the person and then just make a break for it here while he's being su getting supported far by our other two mechs. But since this is such a low skull mission, we shouldn't have any problems at all getting in and doing this, just killing everybody. Alright, let's sprint up here. Can't get too far. Um, let's stay in the trees though. I got a feeling we're going to be encountering people really quickly here. And we'll move height up because he's got the speed. Let's get him up into here so we maybe can see somebody. All right, let's move. Yeah, we've got a couple got of blips. Something. A couple chevrons of, of uh, or a couple of target blips there. And they're going to start moving now. All right. They won't be so foolish as to move into range, I don't think, yet. But we're going to move flatliner down into the forest just in case. If you want to play it safe, you can always move and brace, but I find as long as you're sprinting into the forest, you're pretty much okay. All right, we're going to reserve, see if they come forward. I like having the extra chevrons of evasion, um, more so than I do the extra protection, because at low levels, their chances of hit are, to hit are just as bad as yours are. So the more chevrons of evasion you get, the better off you are. So chances are it's going to be, it might be a three-on-three -three battle, 
but um, they've all moved so let's go down and give them the good news here how far can you go oh, this is the wrong person height how far can you go you can give these guys really good news down here so let's go invite this guy to a barbecue So it looks like it's a commando. 2i. So a pair of SRMs, rocket launchers. Let's hit this guy with everything here. Accuracy through volume of five. Three, four hits. 88 heat. So I don't think he's shooting next turn. So he's effectively pretty much removed from the fight right now. But let's get, since we can't see anybody else, let's move down. And we're going to take a shot at this guy, the PPC. Now, I want to try, we don't have offensive push yet. Let's just fire at him and see what happens. He's got full armor, so I mean, well, if we hit the center torso, he's dead. But let's hope for, let's hope that doesn't happen. Let's just fire away here. 69% arm looks like. Yep. I think I hit something good. <laughs> I think you hit something good, too. I'm ready. All right, now let's just sprint down. We're going to go into the woods up here. And we got lots of missiles, so let's just lob them. We hit them a few times, maybe. Hopefully, hoping for a headshot here. Nope. That's all right. All right, let's see what they do. He's going to... Oh, he's going to fight. Is he punching? Um, why he did that, I have no idea. I'm going to reserve. Why would you charge straight into the fire? I understand. Oh. That's an AC5. Or a heavy rifle or something. Is that a dagger? Or that's a dagger. So I don't know if that guy over there has an AC5 or if that was just a heavy rifle. But let's go find out. So we don't need... Uh, this guy's out of the battle right now. We can probably kill him this turn, but I'm going to move right down here because I think this guy wants to come to the barbecue too. Oh, this is a urban mech with an AC-10. Right, because I'm in the forest. Right, that's why I did 45. And we're going to unload everything in his backside with the exception of one flamer. So there's four hits. Yeah, so he's nice and toasty. We're just helping them stay warm in the uh, in the cold weather here. That's all we're doing. So don't feel bad for them. We're going to sprint up here. And I think we're going to try and remove this commando before he gets to go again. Well, 40, 47. Same. And less chance to hit this guy. So let's remove the commando. He's already been heavily damaged. We can probably take his torso, maybe a C CT out. Welcome to my alpha. So his left torso is gone. No head hit, unfortunately. Unstable. Um, the urban mech has got his other side turned to us, so I really can't get an advantage on him, but we're going to move back up here. We're just going to, well, I guess we better sprint. Sprint into the trees. Oh, I can't see him from there. Interesting. I can from over here, though. That's forest. That's forest. Why can't I turn? game's cheating. That's what it's doing. Um, right here. There we go. Full speed. No target. I want to burrow into his side and blow a CT up here. Yeah, 99% chance to hit. It's game over. Oh, I got his leg. Maybe he'll bail out. Oh, come on, buddy. You still want to fight? Really? Really? I don't know why they're doing that. Skipper. But whatever. Acknowledge. And we're going to hit him again with all the flamers and shut him down. He's going to take a lot of damage because we do 150% uh, damage with the flamers when he's overheated. So I think that dagger has probably got all the gear we want. Um, yeah, he's running. I don't blame him. One guy's shut down and the other guy's like stuck. So um, let's go after the commando. 
How much has he got in his CT? Eight points. Well, let's try and leg him. We might... Let's just... I'm going to turn the small laser off. We're just going to try and leg him. Whoops. Hope we can salvage that. Sorry, buddy. I, I was trying to leg you. That's not my fault, really. So we're not going to move. We're going to go for a headshot on this guy. Hopefully we get the leg at the same time. Just want one headshot. One headshot. Torso gone. Head hit. Engine destroyed. Well, so much for him. So the other, only other person we haven't invited to the barbecue is his dagger, which we shall do at this moment. Roger, Skipper. Taking it. Looks like it's just the three mechs, so... Attacking from the side. We only got a chance for three flamers, but we're going to unload all three. One hit. That's a start. Ready for orders. Now let's see if we can get anywhere where we can see this guy. No, nope, but we're just going to sprint forward. And okay. flatliner. Um, we're actually just going to leave him here. And I'm just going to fire and hope for a head hit. It's really, really rare to get that, but sometimes you do. Ouch. Oh, you want to play the heat game, do you? My heat gauge is getting pretty high. I know it is. Come we on. can play the heat game with you. We can do that. I got more armor than you, buddy, and you're not doing any damage. Alright, let's see what we have to turn off here. Probably everything. Nope, we can fire two. Copy that. I play this game a little better than you do, I think. All right, so we want to make sure we keep this guy. I don't want to blow him up. I want to try and get as many parts from him as I can. So I'm going to turn off the PPC and just go with the small laser. And once again, we're going to unload the LRMs on him. Hope for a head hit. Waiting for orders. That's even lower percentage chance than last time, but we're going to fire them all anyway. Nope. Let's see what he does. Yeah, he's going to play the heat game with me. Nope. That was a mistake. You don't play a heat game and then stop. You either keep playing or you st or you you uh, retreat altogether. Four flamers. Two more hits. Nice. Maybe we can get him to bail out. I don't know. Let's get down in here. I'm going to shoot him with the small laser, but I am going to offensive push him because I want to push him back one turn. Try for his leg. 15%. Nope. Not really that worried about it. Negative damage. Okay. I think we need to start moving flatliner forward now to get better chances to hit. Actually, I'm going to go here. What's the chance here? Yeah, it's pretty good. We're not going to go for direct fire. He's fortified, so it'll be low damage if we do hit. Oh, we got exposed some structure. Made him unsettled. So it's my turn now. So height is going to rotate onto the side here. Done some damage to the back. I don't want to do it, get him into too much damage from the front. I'm going to put two flamers on him. I think should probably be enough. Yikes. Okay, we're just going to walk forward. Coordinates repeat. And we're going after... Actually, I'm going to offensive push him again. Push him back one turn. I'm going to go after the leg. Confirmed. <sighs> leg, dude. Leg. Leg. Alright, we're going to move where I can't see a direct fire on this guy because I don't want to, like blow him up. I think we're going to kill him anyway, but let's go for a headshot. We got lots of chances to hit. I think he's done for. Problem with daggers is they barely have any armor, right? Well, we got him in the head. We ignored the injury, so... Well, there's not much we can really do now. Let's just finish him up. I mean, I could try and manipulate it a little more to do, do better, but... 
Honestly, what's the point? Let's just finish him up. I'm on him. Four hits. That hit oh, he ejected. Excellent. I was worried we'd have to blow him up. Cool. Alright, so he's going on here. Flatline our brace, and that should be it. That's it. So that was a one skull. That was pretty easy. Three mechs. I mean, if that, um, if that, uh, urban mech had more chances to hit, he could have wreaked some havoc, but, you know, with the flamer getting on him right away, having that mask and getting in close and tying him up like that, pretty much nullified any chance that uh, he could do any good damage against us. Alright, so chance to get some dagger parts here, which is excellent. Uh, let's see what we got. We've got stealth armor. ECM war oh, light engine, taking that for sure. Ultralight gyro, we'll take that. Uh, fusion cores money, they don't have partial wing system. We don't really have any use for that right now, but um, endo steel, it's just extra endo steel. Um, let's take the stealth armor. Let's take the fusion core. We've already got the ECM warfare suite. I'd like to have that on all of my mechs at some point. Um, do we need the stealth armor? We already have some stealth armor that we got off our our uh, dagger, so we don't really need it. Let's take the ECM warfare suite. We can work these into our mechs. So let's confirm this. So we got uh, one commando part, three dagger parts, and an urban mech part. Cool. And then, uh, we got the fusion. We took the fusion core. Yeah, not bad. All right, so four thousand in repair bills. Two days for repairs. Excellent. So that's good. So we got one day to the financial report. Let's grab a look, quick look at our mech base here. Um, actually, let's wait. We'll wait till we get uh, our trebuchet back. So let's do our just before we quit here. Um, let's just see if there's any fighting near us at all. Outwards Alliance. Not Neil Aris Capella, no. Turian, no. Majesty of Canopus, Free Worlds, the Russell Hag Republic. Um, we've signed a non. Uh, Sir Kinnis Federation has signed a non aggressive pact with Lurian Commonwealth, St. Ives Compact. They've They've colonized uh, Coex. Let's have a look where that is in a second here. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. All right, so we paid out our financials, two hundred forty-nine thousand. Not too bad. All right, so let's have a quick look at the map here. So the fact that they can actually colonize other worlds. Where's Conex? Hard's Eye, Greenstone, Coex, right there. So let's click on that. So it's pirate presence, poor primitive civilization, token population, uninhabited, water world. Cool, they've actually you can they can actually start taking planets out here. That's very interesting. Alright, let's go back and have a look at our mechs here. Um, go back to the Argo. Wait two more days. Alright, let's have a quick look here before we uh, end the episode. Just to see if there's anything we can use. So Firestarter has got endo steel. Let's refit that. I think we can get um, if we can get ferrofibrous on this guy, which I think is plenty of room for. So let's go to equipment. We picked up some ferrofibrous. Let's drop this armor in here. And it doesn't quite give us a full ton, but if we take, um, mm, let's take one off each of the back torsos on the sides there, and we got one ton remaining, so we can go and we can grab another heat sink, and we'll drop that in there. It'll help a little bit, not a ton, but, I mean, enough to uh, help us out a tiny bit. ECM, this is one ton. Defense against being hit, defense against being hit by missiles. So let's go and look really quickly at our ECM suite. This is a three-tonner, two defense plus one accuracy. So we really can't use that at all. Um, but that's going to help a little bit with our heat. I mean, we have to double our alpha strike, so it's 60, really, somewhere around there. Um, 51 heat, so it's a little better. That's going to help. Um, so let's let's confirm that. And let's have a quick look at the Panther. We're going to refit this guy. Now, I don't think we've got 
Pharaoh or anything on this guy at all. So we can start adding stuff now because we've got um, we've got a um, a good cockpit cockpit in here already. So we can put a light engine in. Kind of light, not enough free slots. Oh right, the sides here. We need more free slots on the sides. So. I mean, I could drop the PPC capacitor in here, and then we will. So let's do this. So we got an extra ton that way. Not much. But if we grab Faro, and if we grab... We still have in this deal. We do. I don't have enough slots for that, though. Hmm. Well, Endo will give us more than Faro, so let's take that out. We'll put the Endo Steel in. So that's giving us an extra two and a half tons. We've already got the ECM Warfare Suite, so two and a half tons would get us what? Maybe a better laser in the center. Um, we don't really, I mean, we got two missile hard points, but we can't do anything with all these double heat sinks in here. Um, and we can't go down to a single heat sink engine because of this PPC. It's got a ridiculous amount of heat with this PPC capacitor. So let's try. Um, I mean, tech, we could put an ultralight gyro in as well, right? And then we can move to a bigger engine. So let's go back. Let's just go back to where we were. Okay, so what we want to do is we're going to pull a fusion core out real quick. Because um, that will take the double heat sink kit out of it. We're going to confirm that. Confirm. Right. I'll get it in the and now we're going back in. Uh, back on the Panther, we're going to refit them. And then what we'll do is we'll throw in all our gear that's going to lighten us up a little bit. So we want the, the uh, light engine, which we don't have enough room in the side torsos for. Uh, so let's put a light engine in. And then let's put in our ultralight gyro. We're not really taking stability damage, so I'm not really that worried about it. So let's throw that in there and our endosteel structure. So now we've got a fair bit of space here. So let's find a better engine. I think we were at we were at 145 before. So if we go to 170, that's eight. What was this? Seven tons. This is only one ton more. Why does that feel like it's not correct? So if we drop this the 170 in, and then we put our double heat sink kit on. We have four tons left. So let's not do that just yet. Let's try something bigger, maybe. Um, the 180, maybe? How much is this? Still nine tons. Eight, nine, one more ton. The 200 is ten and a half. So let's drop this guy in. Let's drop the double heat sink kit in. Let's have a look what we got here. Well, that's 35 tons. So I can take out the broken heat sink here and give me an extra ton. Um, because our heating situation has gone way up now, right? Alpha Strike is 53, heat sinking 72. Alpha Striking is not correct. Um, only because the 45 from the PPC is actually modified by 20%. So it's actually 54. And then 8 for the small laser. So it's 62, so that's 72. So we're, we're over. So we can pull a double heat sink out. We can move our PPC capacitor back into the torso. We've got two tons left over. So this is actually really improving our Panther now. So let's have a look at the weapon systems we can put in here. So we're at 33 tons. We've got two tons left over. Um, I mean, really an SRM2 and ammo. Um, not, I don't know add ammo. That's the thing, right? Um, medium pulse laser, maybe? Where would we put that? We could take out the small, put the medium pulse laser in the chest. Because really, I mean, we've only got two energy slots. And since we're not meleeing with anybody. Or we could put an ER medium in. Hmm. I think if we're going to do it, though... So just lasers. I mean, vehicle flamer, no, because where, the, where are the, uh, the units that's supposed to be picking people off? So maybe the ER medium laser is probably the best bet to go. We can pull out the small, put the ER medium in. 
So now our heat is at what? 60 heat plus 9, 69 heat. We got one and a half tons left. I mean, what do I stick in for one and a half tons though? Like, I, there's no room for anything. Although I could pull the endo steel out. Don't necessarily need the endo steel. If we leave the endo steel out and perhaps go with ferrofibrous, right? We can pull one off the back or one off the CT, I think, probably front. Uh, and have one ton left and then maybe put the double heat sink back in. So now we've got a heat sinking of 72 and alpha strike of 69. I think that's what we'll do. I think we're going to go that route. We're going to have way more accuracy with the ER medium laser, doing more damage at a greater range than we have the small. So really that's all we've increased. And then we've increased our speed, like we're going to have a, a lot more speed than we had before. So let's go with that. Uh, let's, let's confirm this. It's only four days too, so. So that's awesome. That's a really great rebuild for that. Now the trebuchet, we've already got um, clan armor and endo steel on this guy. Um, let's refit. I think we still have an extra light engine that we picked up. Let's see if we can refit this guy. And then when we come back next time, I'll just move right in with the four mech unit. We'll have that pan the other panther back too as well, right? So let's put in... Um, a light engine and we've got three extra tons which means we can drop our medium lasers back in or we can drop in the ECM suite giving us more accuracy which I think I'll probably do I'm gonna put it on this side with the double heat sink over um, now do we have any more gyros left we don't and then let's put our, our, um, our cockpit in here with breaching shot. We'll put that in as well. So that's great. It's going to give us another plus two accuracy with this guy. Um, breaching shot and then the uh, plus two defense. So that's a huge upgrade for this this uh, trebuchet. So we're going to confirm that. That's six days. But once again very little in cost. Cool. Let you know when that's done. So next episode, let's just Oh, we don't have... Right, it's going to take us a lot longer than I thought it would. I forgot we don't have two mech bays. That's not good. So let's take our Panther. This is the one that we're still working on. Put our main mechs forward. Close that up. So in six days, we'll have our three mechs back. Or eight... Was it eight days? Nine days? Hmm... At the sound of the door, sliding open, Darius and Yang turn in unison to face you. Commander, Darius intones, his voice tinged with exasperation. The colony on Maximilian has requested our help. Yang cuts in. He's practically giddy with excitement. Boss, they have agromechs. Herders, farmhands, and even a cattle master. These are some of the wonkiest machines ever to walk on two legs. You gotta let me down and... <laughs> you gotta let me get down to work on them. Darius frowns, deepens. This is not the best use of our time or resources. Come on, boss. Yang clasps his hands, pleading, Agromax! We're going to resist the lure since we have so much work up here to do. If we didn't have work up here to do, I'd let him go, but we can take the decrease in morale. That's fine. Sorry, buddy. You got so much work up here to get stuff done. And if you don't, we're going to go bankrupt. So, uh, <laughs> if you didn't, if we just wait till the next financial re report, we would have, like, what? less than 300 C bills left. So yeah, no, and going down is probably not a good idea. Alright, so we're going to leave it here for today. Uh, we got our mechs upgraded. We still got a, almost a month to wait for our Panther to get back, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to start... Um, let's go to the command center real quick. We're going to start uh, doing some higher end missions to try and get some better cash. Now, no, don't think we can really do Stubborn Surrender. We might be able to. I don't know. I might take a chance and see, and if not, we'll bail on it. But uh, stop the signal is another one we might be able to destroy bases. Relatively simple. So, um, yeah. So that'll be next time. But uh, until then, we'll uh, see you later.